Every HTML page is made up of these things called elements or tags or nodes. They're all pretty much referring to the same thing. These are building blocks that you put together to create HTML pages. It's that simple. They're like bricks you put on top of one another to, for example, build a wall. But I mean, don't build a wall because that's stupid. Look at pretty much any website in the world. For example, let's look at GQ. This right here is a block. So is this and this. And pretty soon you will start to notice separations between different pieces of a page. Chances are those are built using separate HTML elements. There are a lot of different kinds of elements. So the first one I want to show you is the P tag. P is for paragraph. It's used as a building block to create a paragraph. So every paragraph you see on the web, pretty much, uh, is built using a P tag. All elements are created the same way. You do a left arrow and then a right arrow, and then you put the name of your tag in between. So in this case, a P. This whole thing is called your opening tag. You also need a closing tag, which is exactly the same as the opening tag, except with an extra slash, just like this. So you end up with an opening tag and a closing tag. Anything you put between these two becomes a paragraph, becomes the thing that the browser will, will actually show you as your paragraph. So let's make a P tag together. Open up that HTML um, file that you created. So I'm gonna create a P tag here, an opening tag, and then a closing tag. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna go back to my file, double click, there's still nothing here, right? Let's go back to our P tag. Let's go, hello world. Okay, we're gonna save this. Go back to our page, refresh. Look at that, hello world just showed up. But notice the browser doesn't show the opening and the closing tag, uh, but rather it translates what's between them to the end user, in this case, a paragraph. So let's change this to a H1 which is a header. Now it's much larger because H1 is pretty much the largest header for your page that you can, you can you have access to. So if I change this now to an H2 and, and we'll cover uh, different uh, tags and different headers and all that stuff in a bit. So if I save this, go back, refresh, it's still a header, but and it's big, still bigger than the paragraph, but it's a little bit smaller than the H1. So you can see the browser knows what these tags mean, and it actually translates them for you. So the same way we just added text inside your element, you can also include element inside other elements, but uh, we'll get to that later. Just remember that for now. So a couple of things before I forget. Do not forget to close your tags. When you open it, you close it. Needless to say, when you open it with a H1, you need to close it with an H1. If you open it with a P, you close it with a T. Uh, so opening and closing tags need to match. Also, the tag name is not case sensitive, which means it can be H1 or H1, but no one really does uppercase, so try to keep it all to lowercase. These are some of the common tags that are available to you. P for paragraph. H123456 for headings from big to small. A, anchor tag for links from page to page. Button, which will create a button for you. UL is an unordered list. OL is an ordered list. LI is a list item. IMG image, video, audio. Div and span for layouts and containers. Headers, footers, nav for navigation uh, menus, script, style, and link to load JavaScript and CSS into your page. There is even more, and I will walk you through some of them, but that's pretty much what HTML tags are. So stick around, it's only starting to get cool. Uh, next, we're gonna talk about the DOM, which is the structure of your uh, HTML, and um, I'll see you there.